What's going on YouTube? Blade Edge here and got another short uh, review slash overview for you. Um, this is has been one of my favorite knives that I've I've carried um, reviewing some of these budget knives and I wouldn't necessarily say they're all budget knives or they're we're just gonna call them knives. So this this one's actually been uh, I've had a good time with this one. Uh, this is the CRKT, I'm going to say Pilar 3. Uh, this is the D2 blade and the frame lock. And this is the satin finish. And you can see it's got a nice satin finish. Um, I, I really, really actually like that satin finish. And so just quick specs on this. We got a... Uh, blade length of 2.97 inches um, Like I said D2 steel it's got 0.15 on the thickness And remember how I like that 0.15 right around that area sometimes a little bit more I find that to be one of my favorite on the spine um, The overall length is 7.19 inches uh, Close we're looking at 4.26 inches and the weight on this is coming in at 3.80 ounces. And we got a G10 on the front and steel on the back, stainless steel on the back. Yeah. And yeah, so you can see if you, if you can see in here. Yep. Yeah. Um, so it's just G10 on this side. There's no, there's no steel liner or anything. And then you got your frame lock on this side. For a knife this size, this is what I would consider like a little fifth pocket knife. Um, you don't necessarily need uh, steel liners. Granted, steel liners would be nice, but for sometimes you got to ask yourself for for what reason. Um, in my experience, I've been carrying this knife in my my little fifth pocket. Thus, I call it a fifth pocket knife. And never have I ever went for a knife in my fifth pocket knife to do a heavy task. That's why I carry a bigger knife in my main pocket. Sometimes a knife in my other pocket as well. Um, I use these simply if I'm if I'm cutting some tape off something real quick or opening opening a letter, cutting cutting a little bit of wire, uh, like the the outside of wire um, stuff like that and this is this is actually held up great um, I've actually used this quite a bit and you can see the edge on it is still pretty dang good um, I do strop my knives just about daily the knives that I use so keep that in mind and yeah man that satin is beautiful um, so another thing with this knife, um, another category that I give this thing just a high grade is the action on it. Um, man, this thing, you can flip this thing open. It hasn't came loose on me at all. And sometimes I find myself just sitting there at work with this out of my pocket, just over and over and over again, just flipping, flipping. Um, like I said, that is one of my favorite things to do with knives now that I've learned and mastered the reverse flick. Uh, it's just something fun to do. You can also flip it open with your thumb up front. You can slow roll it with your thumb up front. You can slow roll it with your thumb and the finger in the back, kind of. I just made that one up. Um, oh yeah, you can do that one that nobody ever does. Woo! So, you got all those. Um pocket clip on this guy is it's actually pretty decent um you got a little bit of of handle sticking out i i've never cared cared about the depth of my knife i mean obviously if it was like down there i might have a little bit of a problem with it but it's up here there's a lanyard hole uh if you need it if you want it i don't know how many people really use those uh but i do see a lot of very high-end knives with lanyards with super expensive beads and these are probably people that used to say crap about lanyard holes 
Uh, so you got your stop pin back here, and this is running on bearings. And you can see it is a Voxnays design. So that's that's pretty cool too. So there's the one, the two, this is the three. This is the one that that spoke to me the most and intrigued me the most. There too. I'll I'll get them, but they're kind of like a meh. So I'm trying to think of what else it's got with this guy. Um a pocket clip. There is no no uh insert, which why would there be? There wouldn't be. So that was just kind of a dumb comment. Uh, when I took this apart, I did have a little bit of trouble getting these these screws out down here. Uh, one side started to strip out just a little bit. And so I went over to the other side and I got those ones out fine. Um, I did before this video, I had the, the pivot reversed. It actually, I like taking apart knives from the show side and so I had it reversed but I flipped it back around so people didn't make fun of me thinking I put it back together wrong and oh also there's a little or there's an over travel stop right in there you can see and that guy right down in there with that screw right there over travel so when you go to unlock it that's the farthest it's gonna go I mean you can go a little further than the frame but it's better than bowing the whole entire thing out and lock up is great about 50 60 percent and i mean honestly this this is a this is a knife that if i stopped buying knives for a while and was just gonna carry a couple to use daily and and you know kind of save my other ones for for other times this might end up being the one I threw in my fifth pocket just because I can use it. It's it's definitely strong. The blade still is D2, so I don't got to worry about it that much. Um, it's comfortable. Oh, yeah, the, er the ergos are great. One thing you do have to watch out for a little bit on this is uh, just how this is cut out right here with the, with the edge of the blade. Like, if you got fat plumber hands like mine, and you go in and you squeeze it, it is going to nick you a little bit uh it did run just grabbed a sec go luckily it didn't didn't drop blood but there's one thing to watch out for i think it's like that on most finger trails though you just got to kind of be careful and probably not going to be gripping it like that it's probably going to be more like that i would assume um but yeah the ergonomics on this knife are great you can get full grip uh gripping down here below the choil you can see it just just about right there so it's got just enough i i mean i usually hold it like this make my cut make my cut make my cut um yeah so i don't think i really got much else to say about this um if you guys like this review or found it interesting please leave me a comment down below uh, if you like my video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like my video shoot me a thumbs down and uh let me know what you'd like to see next or let me know what i could approve on or let me know what you liked i appreciate it guys i appreciate you watching my videos and sticking around and help watching my channel grow i hope everyone has a good night and i'll see y'all soon thanks